Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel, it's Swim. I'm back on Epic 7 today for another Guild Wars video. And today is a very special day because yesterday was the 20s. Do we say 20s? I don't know. <laughs> uh, it was the 20 day on the, this event so people were able to get their Melfire and so uh, did I. Uh, some people don't because they just slacked or they took some stuff from the club. So yeah, but I managed to get mine and I got... Did I know a little bit? Uh, why did I take her? It's because I'm, I have been like a week for sure, but I like to have a second cleanser because for a tier they can easily just ban when like a week and then I'm completely naked pretty much. And the little bit is uh, also I feel easier to build than DGB because DGB needs speed on ear, which uh, I'm terrible with ear. I don't have any unit with good ear. On speed I'm I'm kind of by two, so that's why I went with Lilibet. It is a build for now, uh, so... I don't, I'm not an expert in Lilibet, so I don't know if defense or HP is correct. Speed seems kind of decent. She is not max split rate, but I guess there can be s some improvements. As again, I haven't really thought yet. She has not a lot of effectiveness, so I'm not hoping to... Can it sign? Oh no, it's reset one turn here on silence here. So I'm not hoping for those that much, unless the unit does not have... A yeah, in, in, in front, and then I have some here yeah, which I would need to switch it out because he doesn't need. I put her on a remove artifact because I have no idea what I could put her on. Maybe she got size for a little bit of lifesteal, but I don't know. I guess we'll try out. Uh, oh no, that's Uncertain Items. By the way, Uncertain Items, I don't think I'll do a day 3 video. Uh, reason being that day 3 is pretty much going to be like day 2. I'm just going to eat the boss and we're gonna kill it, I think, tonight. Be able to, to kill it. So day four, we're gonna. I mean, we could already be able to reach floor two today, but. Um, okay, so I guess we're at war against Moonbeam. Uh, I'll see where I can use the Well, already. It seems like a pretty decent team. Let's go. Alright, first fight, we're gonna use the bet against this RL, as I said. Uh, the only thing is, because I'm seeing those units, which does not really look like meta units. And stuff. I'm kind of expecting this guy to not be that great level, and hopefully he is a <laughs> well doesn't get like speed only by my daily bets. On the bottom team could be fine. Uh, we have you Finn Milim, could be able to deal one with Landy, and then we have Lumo to kind of deal with this Karin. Let's see. I also put uh, Aiden because Aiden isn't like really She doesn't care about AOL. Okay, so at least oh, this is going to move well. Unless Dilibet somehow kills RB, I think this could go well. Okay, I think remove artifact prod, but give me defense buff, which is kind of funny. I guess it's not that best. I mean, what can give remove artifact? It's attack buff, crit rate. Oh, didn't crit the RB, so not killing him, thanks. Okay, this is going. Uh, this is going too. Can you stun something? Okay, stun both dark units. <laughs> nice uh, killer. I think. I mean, don't have attack buff. We might not kill actually. Let's see. Oh, he's, he's proof. I don't think without proof he would have tried. Uh, this will still kill RB. I mean, my space is kind of disgusting. Not gonna lie. Like, it does no damage, but yeah. I mean, it's an arbiter with still did 11k. Nice. Oh, <laughs> he fucking crit him. He crit I did. Oh my god. Uh, yeah, killer. No, what the fuck is this? This AOL is. Crazy. Uh, we can just do it again because why not? Seeing space grabbing all the waifus. I mean, it did grab <laughs> a bit up before, so. I mean, I guess if you're into that, uh, that kind of stuff, people really want the underbet RB, <laughs> so I guess. But yeah, I guess this was post 3 bad fights. Yeah, it went well. I mean, it's another option from Munakarik, so. And she, she seems to deal pretty decent damage, actually. I mean, I'm not expecting the enemy in front to. To be very tanky. But yeah, uh, so let's see. Does my meaning. Okay, my meaning goes before removal, which is nice. So. It's not a stealth landy. I mean, unless. I mean, she's still. A yeah, no, she wasn't stealth, I think. But yeah, this could kill her 100%. And with all those buff, removal is just going to kill Karin normally. And then it just. FCC alone. So I guess this fight is already over. Unless this Karin somehow survives. But even if he can survive, we have 70% evasion on all units. Yeah. Both Limili and Yufin have 70% evasion, so if he fucking hit here, oh my god. <laughs> I guess he's going for Milim. 
<laughs> oh my god. Oh, thanks god you didn't quit. <laughs> oh my god. I was kinda half expecting uh, to quit. That's it. Alright, second fight, so this time it's another tower against a low hero. He has a Stinny, which is very rare. Uh, I'm starting to wonder if this guild is like actually still playing the game because those are some very old meta units I'm seeing. But yeah, I haven't even switched the team up behind, I mean under, I mean. Yeah, yeah. But before that, we were to be like DBT and to spike the like and subscribe button. Yeah. You get what I mean? And my is fucking out speed, what the. <laughs> okay, I guess. <laughs> This is already weird. Wait, my... Wait, no, uh, the Dilibet will be able to pull space, so it's fine. Oh, and he, gets, and he can get speed buff. Okay, so... Rumo is speed buff. I mean, Rumo artifact is speed buff, attack buff, defense buff, and something else. I think it's crit damage or crit rate. So I guess it's nice. Uh, I guess we have S2. <laughs> yeah. Kill the Vildred and no. Oh, no! I want space to grab it. Oh, nice. We didn't kill. Grab it. Grab the boy Bon. I don't know why I'm using space with the Dilibet. That's just. I mean, that's just so bad the defense are in front. <laughs> but yeah, I guess we got a pretty tough last week in terms of Guild War. Like, we, f we only faced losses. So I guess this week we uh, kind of facing weaker Guild. I mean, Friday Guild War might be a bit tougher. But yeah, this could go. Uh, I don't know. I think I'm just going to eat her Valen with her. Okay, uh, bye I guess, <laughs> Valen. Uh, Ghost Razer, Kiss Razer, and then we will kill Tama maybe. Oh, what a go. Oh, this is killing? Oh, yeah, it's killing, okay. And then just kill Tama in, hopefully. This, will, this is the past one, but yeah. Let's go over to the third fight, second if this Tama di doesn't die. Yeah, nothing to see. Alright, second fight. Uh, top team could go technically well, unless this Monakarek is slower than his Selin. Uh, if Selin goes first on S3, this might go bad. We never know with Selin if it's speed or lifesteal, so I guess I'm kinda gambling right now. Yeah. On bottom team, there is another level, so he could hopefully go uh, proke uh, uh, bet skill 2, uh, then we poke with skill 3 and Swazek could kill the FCC, and then it would pretty much just be... I mean, no, actually, not that I think about it, uh, because he's going to do a skill 2. Hmm. Well, I guess it doesn't really matter. Worst case scenario, we'll just do skill 2 with Traze on. Anyways, uh, Spectator Nima is going to target first turn 18, which, unless bullshit happens, should go fine. And already, what I'm seeing is that uh, this isn't going to go well, because he's faster. Um, <laughs> can I do anything to stop it? And why is my door is faster, actually, too? No idea why. Uh, I don't know if I can do anything to be honest to stop her from doing it. This can push an ally, but even if I push an ally, it's not like I can stop the thing. Ah, I guess this is already kind of fucked in a way. Uh, let's see, let's see. We're gonna see. Maybe with some luck we can uh, waste a turn. Because we are not going to eat scene, obviously. Except this is going to hit her, but... Doesn't matter. Yeah, we're gonna wait for Moonlight to do stuff. Uh, I guess let's go cool right now, because we have attack buff. Uh, he doesn't have an anti quit right now, so... Yeah. If, if Lu can be killed quickly, that's nice. Okay, nice counter, lol. They literally can't hit uh, Selin. I mean, Lu literally can't hit anyone except Doris. So I guess Doris is going to take a lot of damage, because she's going to be targeted by everyone. Because this crew is pretty much dead, uh, but it is just going to S1 air. And so what we have to do right now is wait for Moonlight to get his skill tree back up, I guess. And um, to hopefully kill this Selin with it. Yeah, I guess that's really the only way. What the fuck is Counter 2? Okay, that's the world, that's already annoying. We don't have any form of extra resistance on oh my... Counter Karoic are honestly the worst. <laughs> it's really good, that's why it's the worst. And that's also maybe why this Selene is faster than this Moonlight Karoic, it's because it's fucking counter. Uh, can you not kill? Can you like not dust devil or anything? Thanks. Uh, we might still be dead, because we're gonna lose defense buff and this is not going to full life us. Uh, how long till Munakarik attack buff back? 
Oh, he's going to attack buff now. Uh, does Selin have everything? No, one more turn. So, I guess he's gonna die? Let's see. Uh, up. Uh, please don't do anything dumb, like killing it. Um, yeah, no, let's save the apple in case. We don't really need it. We, we actually don't want to really kill the Kawaii. What the fuck? He went for Violet. Wait, about, well, I guess he killed herself. Oh, wait, no, he's going to heal. Because Selene is going to go right here. Okay, so it still works kind of fine, but... Yeah, if, if, you, if it was a life Selene and Kawaii would have go first, it would have been easy, but... was a bit harder because of that. But Doris held out, so... I guess this is fine. And Muna Kawaii is alone. Uh, I guess we're just going to do this. And Violet is just going to land an extra on him. This might not kill, but Selene is going afterward, maybe. Okay, okay, he killed. So let's go for the last fight, on it's a little bit last fight. Let's see, does it say go first? No, it fucking, it's fucking uh, Strazé. I guess we're just gonna do this. Uh, deal as much damage as possible on, uh, on FCC. Might kill her, I don't know, I doubt though, without attack buff. Okay, this goes, that's nice, because no, this goes too. And we're gonna uh, remove skill null on the... Oh, what the... Oh, his musical box. He gave uh, FCC immunity out of all the buff he could... Jesus. But it's actually bad that I resetted the STN because now he's going to hit two targets. And he might hit a uh, little bit. Ooh. Okay, we miss. He miss, so goodbye skill null. Yeah, goodbye skill null and... Goodbye FCC, I hope. Yeah, hopefully this kill FCC. She's midlife. Okay, 90k, so bad. Yeah. Okay, this is going to hit, but everyone is invincible because of her. Yeah. Uh, let's do an away. Yeah. Oh my god, almost killed. But yeah, I guess this could go fine. Yeah, this is over. Yeah. So bad because why not? Does not matter. Bonk, 10k. Okay, nice. Alright, guys, as I said, this was just a little bit video, but. I'll find the gear of everyone else I use. Uh, so yeah, I guess I'm really happy with my choice of picking Delilah Bet. Uh, as I said, I could have picked ba uh, Digi Bassa, but I think I would have uh, had an harder time building a Digi B than the Delilah Bet. And even then, my Delilah Bet isn't like the best gear ever. Uh, I should uh, reforge it first, and I should find some better stuff because honestly, it's not that great. <laughs> but yeah, here's the space that I use there with. Uh, yes, Doris, I probably forgot some units uh, passing by, but doesn't really matter because she is the showcase of this video, so yeah, there's a stat again. Uh, I use that with the Blessing of Glows because Red Dog is like level 5 and stuff. And yeah, I um, guess I'll maybe switch this. Oh, it can also give immunity, which kind of sucks. So yeah, maybe you could switch this artifact for something else. But yeah, I guess this is it for this video, guys. We'll see each other next time, and don't forget, no video most likely on, on Saturday night and today, so don't expect a day 3 video. But we'll see each other for day four tomorrow. So goodbye. Got a soul. We never took another summer call.